The Senate President, accompanied by Senators and members of the House of Representatives during the tour, was received by the Chairman of Dangote Group, Aliko Dangote, along with top executives and engineers from the refinery. The visit, which is the National Assembly's first to the facility, was aimed at stimulating legislative support for similar large-scale industrial projects that will boost economic growth and development. The tour provided the delegation with an in-depth understanding of the refinery's operations, capacity, and its anticipated roles in the Nigerian economy. I never thought that the shame that pervaded this country since 1956 when oil was discovered in a library could be taken away. But you single-handedly, you have taken that shame away. How can a country produce so much millions and millions of crude oil but continue to do import and import and import without any refinery working? How can? You mentioned here that India is not producing any crude oil but it is refining so much, bringing oil, and even there's no import into India of refined products. Instead, they are exporting to other countries. It is now time for Nigeria to do so, through one man and one man alone, the Lin Kuan Yu of the petrochemical industry. Aliko <laughs> Dangote. We are happy. We are very excited. One of the things that came out from our visit, for those who might not have followed us, is your adherence to quality. Since the refinery began the production of Jet A1 fuel and diesel, Nigerians have been looking forward to the production of premium motor spirit. However, the Dangote Group President, Aliko Dangote, assured the delegation that the refinery will start the production and distribution of petrol in a month's time. What we are doing is to be able to export our petroleum products to anywhere and compete with any company. Uh, by next week, we'll be producing less than even about 10 ppm in terms of, uh, you know, diesel. PMS, we, it will start coming out by we had a bit of delay, but it will start coming out by 10th, 15th of, uh, you know, July. But then, you know, we want to keep it in the tank to make sure that it settles. By third week of July, we'll be able to take it into the market. If there are seven wonders, maybe this is the eighth wonder of the world. The construction and the completion of the Dangote refinery and petrochemical plants. At one time, when it was ongoing, it was the largest construction site in the entire world. We know that it is the laws that are made in the legislature. It is the regulations that are created through the legal, the, the, the legislative process that determine the conduciveness of the environment for investment and for business. We have a lot in the Petroleum Industry Act and uh, we'll continue to see how we can fine tune it to give support and at the same time protect this investment and then also make sure that Nigerians maximizes um, the potential, the benefits. I want, we want this refinery to stabilize the price of petroleum product, give Nigerian quality petroleum product and at the same time give value to Nigerians. I am overwhelmed. This is not, um, I don't think this is a project for, for commerce. It's not a project for, it's not mercantile nation. This is a project that is backed by passion by love for one's country. Um, Alaji Aliko Dangote had taken it upon himself to prove to the world that Nigeria could do it, and he has done it. As the largest single train facility in the world, capable of processing 650,000 barrels of crude oil per day, it is expected that the Dangote refinery, in its full capacity, will reduce unemployment by creating over a hundred thousand direct and indirect jobs as well as decrease the country's fuel imports thereby making the nation energy independent Obmobolanli Adishui Arise News Lagos